In this video, you'll get a step-by-step -step tutorial to learn how to build Zapier agents for sales research and call prep. My name is Bryce Vernon, a marketer at Zapier. I've been building with Zapier AI agents to build out my own workforce for my own job. It's been incredible because they can connect to knowledge sources to pull in relevant data. They can take action in up to 7,000 different apps that integrate with Zapier. And I can take them wherever I go because there's a handy Chrome extension. They've taken so much admin out of my job so that I can do what I really love, which is creativity, building, things like that. So let's get you there too. We're gonna build and test them from start to finish. First up, the lead enricher agent. So in Zapier, you can get to agents by just going to the sidebar, clicking agents. Once you get in there, you're gonna have all your agents listed on the sidebar. And then within each agent, you have different chats here that you can go in and look at, or you can start a new chat. But to set something like this up, when we go into settings, each agent is gonna have a name, a short description, and then two other powerful pieces. Data sources, where the agent can actually go and look at data that you've stored, and it also has behaviors. This is where the real power comes from. With each behavior, you can set up the agent to do so many different things. So with this lead enricher agent, we click into the behavior, this works similarly to an automation. You do have a trigger. This is the trigger HubSpot new contact. And so you connect your HubSpot account and it will trigger every time there's a new contact. We'll click save. The instructions, you just type out what you want. So I say here, when I get a new contact in HubSpot, you're gonna take the email address and business name and look up their company online. Search for the following information for that person. So list out all the information I want to try to go get. The agent's going to figure out a way to go get that information. And then I have here an action. There's 7,000 different apps you could connect to. All you do is type the app you want and the specific action you want it to take. And you're good to go. So here we want the agent to update the contact once it finds that information. When we click the gear icon here, you can see that the HubSpot account is chosen and then all the other fields that you might have had to map in a traditional zap or an automation. Here, you can let your agent generate the value. So they're making a decision on what value is gonna be best for each of the properties here. It's that simple. This is wild. So. When you have this set up, you can test the behavior. I've already turned mine on. We're gonna see how this runs live. We'll go to the chat, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into HubSpot and just add a contact. You might have a contact created from a form or anywhere else, but we're just gonna add it in here. Good old Wade from Zapier. Let's learn about Wade. So we click Create. Now when we look over here, all the lead details, we don't have any of this information. And that's what we're having the agent go and find for us. When we go back into the Zapier agent, we can see there's a new chat that's unread that is happening today. We're gonna click in there and we're gonna see everything that's going on. This is happening behind the scenes. I'm just taking a look at the agent's work. Right now, it looks like it triggered from that new contact. And then it says, hey, I'm searching for the information about Wade Foster at Zapier to gather the details. So now we can see it performed a web search and found a bunch of information specifically about Wade. Now, once it's found this information, it needs to go back into HubSpot and update the lead for me. So we can see it went in and completed the action, but it looks like it noticed the format for one of the fields wasn't correct. So it's figuring all this out. Now, again, this happens in the background. I could go do something else while the agent's working on this, but I like to check its work. You have all of its work in chats in the sidebar now let's go back into HubSpot to see what it looks like over here. Amazing. So we have all the information now filled out for us. We didn't have to do a thing and we are good to go. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at a sales call prep agent. Every day, this agent's going to look at my calendar, see any events that have someone else, an external participant it's gonna look up their information, include it in a Slack DM to me at the beginning of the day. So let's set this agent up. We'll click configure. 
we'll go into the one behavior that has been set up here. The trigger is scheduled by Zapier. So you can have this trigger every day. You could have it trigger once a week on a specific day. There's plenty of different ways you can trigger based on a date and time. This will happen every morning. And here are the instructions. Look at my calendar of events for today. And there's an action here for Google Calendar. It's called Find Multiple Events. So when you add this in, you're just connecting your Google Calendar account, specifying a calendar to look at, and let AI do the rest. So we click Save, that's set up. It's gonna find all those external participants, and then it's gonna search for those email address, summarize information about those people, and then send a message in Slack. So if it's gonna send that message, we need an action send direct message in Slack. You can add this by just clicking take action or in the template, it'll already be set up. So all you do is click the gear icon. Again, choose your Slack account, authenticate it if you haven't yet. And then you'll adjust the username to make sure it's sending to you and no one else. Everything else the AI agent will take care of. You might want to make sure it does send as a bot. That's the only other field you want to click yes. That way in Slack, it comes from a bot like a sales prep bot. You'll you can name it if you want, or the agent can name it for you. We'll click save, and then this one's good to go. I'm gonna test this out so you can see what it looks like. Anytime you're working on a new behavior for an agent, the best thing you can do is test it to see if it runs well. It'll give you previews before it actually runs so that you can see what it looks like before actually committing to an action. Maybe it's sending an email and you don't wanna do that. You can just see the preview. For this, it's gonna, fake a trigger as if it's the morning of today, and then it's gonna go ahead and fetch all the calendar events. Once it does that, it figures out what's the next step. It's gonna go through each meeting. For this one, there's just one meeting with an external participant, and then it's gonna search Google for that person. Find as much information as it can and decide what to include. All right, and then it gives me a preview of what the Slack message would look like. I have an event with someone named Bryce Vernon tells me about that person. And then if it looks good, I can approve. It'll send in Slack to show you what that looks like. We'll take a quick look so you can see that. Okay, so we can see in Slack, I've got this notification from Zapier giving me the meeting summary when it happens and who the external participant is, what company they work for, their location, relevant information about that person. The Slack notification works for every meeting I have for that day, every external participant, and can save so much time when you're preparing for these meetings. There's so much opportunity here to continue building out your agent workforce to get more work done for you. These are perfect for customer support. You can build out your own admin assistant, your executive assistant that is gonna surface up the most important work that you need to get done. 